Well, hello there. Today you're going to learn how to use the app Book Creator to write your poem, illustrate your poem, and even record it and export it to your teacher. So in the iPad, you're going to find the Book Creator app that looks like that. Go ahead and press it, and you will come up to a page that looks like this. There's a tutorial if you need it, but if you don't, press Portrait, because press New Book to Portrait, and that will open you up to a blank page. And then press that plus sign, and either you're using the pen or the add text, you are going to just simply write your name like so. I prefer using the pen versus text because I like to have the freedom to do what I want. When, then hit done. Once you've done and created text, you can then move it around your page just like that. But we're not even gonna worry about this page. Go to the next page. Here's where you're gonna put your poem and your illustration and your recording. So click the plus sign again and add text. And first I'd like you to write the name of your poem and your name. So for instance, mine's called Cool Pool by Jay Osborne. I'm gonna click done. And then I'd like you to go do that again. Click the plus sign, add your text. And this time I'd like you to type in your poem like this. This is my award-winning poem, and uh, just so you know, I wrote this special just for you. Now, if you click the I, you can start manipulating the font and the colors. So there's, if you press the I and then hit the text button, you can play around with the um, sizing and the different colors are in different uh, fonts. So hmm, I'm playing around with some fonts here. I don't like any of these. Nah, I don't think so. This is the one I want that suits what I, the feeling of my poem. And blue suits it because it's about a pool. Okay, and then you can pick your alignment there. I want center. And then if you click the page tab, this is where you can pick your, you can do a solid background color like pink or keep it white or pink. Or you can go down here and see, you can do borders. I like this one because it looks, reminds me of a swimming pool. So I'm gonna pick that, but you can also pick textures and other things. Okay, so then you're just gonna center your poem over there along with your background. And now's the time you get to illustrate just using your finger. So you can select the brush, brush size and the colors that you want. And you can draw an illustration that suits your poem. So. I, for instance, am drawing a little swimming pool and a little saying. And there you got it. Next, you're going to press the um, plus button poems. for adding sound. Cool. And you're going to have to add, um, give access pool. to the microphone to this app and record and then press finished. And then you'll get this little icon. And when you press that icon, it will play it for you. It'll play you, the listener, the um, text. And then play around with it, make sure everything looks the way you like it. And then when you're done, you're all ready to export. And so you want to make sure that yours looks really great and all ready to share with your whole class because everybody's going to see that at your poetry cafe. When you're done, go back to the dashboard and press the export button. Now you want to export as video. So, and what this is going to do, it's going to just export it right into your iMovie or sorry, your iPhoto folders. And so allow access to that, hit okay and then it will have exported and now you're going to go in and check and make sure that it's there and go find it so go into your photos file oh there it is should be the very last thing that's there and press play just to make sure that everything looks and sounds the way it was supposed to so when it plays it will actually just play automatically it'll flip through the pages and play your sound as well okay now when you're done it's time to export it so um, you're going to click the share button right there and the best option would be to just simply airdrop that to your teacher. If your teacher does not have um, an Apple device, then you're going to need to log into um, Microsoft 365 and in press go into your OneDrive folder. And from your OneDrive folder, you're going to click Upload, Files, and then into your Photo Library, you're going to go in there. And you're going to click Moments and go into the very last thing, which is your video. Click Done. There you go, it's uploaded, it was very quick. And then you're gonna find that in the list of all the things that you have uploaded. Um, it will say uploaded just a few seconds ago, like that. And so then you're gonna share that with your teacher. So you're gonna open it up, open it up, open it up, open it up. You're gonna open it up, ah, there you go. 
and then it will you'll be able to share it up there so you're going to click share and then add your teacher's name or even my name and you can or maybe even both i don't know you can share these with us and i just want you to make sure that when you share that you add your own name and your class as well so that we don't get confused because we're going to be getting all sorts of poems coming to us we want to make sure we know whose is whose okay so in the message section you're going to write your name and your class it's been a long day where's that r there it is hit send and that's it your teacher has the link and you are done your poem congratulations can't wait to see them bye bye